Good morning, kiddos. I'm so excited to be with you guys this morning and again, be with you and learning more about Jesus and how we can be more like him. I know the past few months we've talked about Paul and how good Paul is about sharing the good news of Jesus. He shares the good news of Jesus in good times and hard times, and he shares the news of Jesus with people he doesn't even get along with. And we've learned so much about Paul and how we should share the good news of Jesus. However, something that you guys have opened up to me about in the past month is that it's hard to share the news of Jesus when you're quarantined in your house all day. So something I want to talk to you guys this morning about is something that you can do right there in your house. But this something that I'm going to teach you about this morning is something that can be out of your house too, at school, at church, in the store, with your cousins, with your family. It can be shown everywhere. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to guess what you think we're going to talk about this morning. I'll give you a hint. It's something that Jesus is really, really good at. All right, you got five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. I hope you guessed it. We're going to talk about forgiveness this morning. Forgiveness is something that is not easy for us to do. I mean, I don't like to forgive people when they just hurt my feelings really bad, but Jesus is so good about forgiveness. He forgives us every single day. I mean, if you think about it, Jesus forgives 7 billion people. And some of those people don't even like him, but Jesus still forgives him. So this morning, I'm going to talk to you guys and share a Bible verse about forgiveness. We're going to be in Matthew 18, 21, and 22. Remember, Matthew is in the New Testament. It's actually the first book in the New Testament. So chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. All right, I'll give you a few seconds to get there. If not, you can pause the video and then play when you're ready. Verse 21. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. 77? That's a lot. And that's not easy to do to one person. Can you imagine having to forgive that same person 77 times? But that's what God requires of us. And it's more than 77 times. It's a lifetime of forgiveness is that what we are called to do as believers of Jesus. So I really want you guys to think about it in a personal level. When somebody is mean to you, it's always the best to forgive. But sometimes you want to ignore when someone's mean. Sometimes you want to get even when someone's mean. And sometimes you want to even stay mad when someone is mean to you or does something wrong towards you. But ignoring the situation or your feelings about what happened will not solve the problem and will not make you feel better, guys. It's okay to feel mad, sad, or embarrassed. I just don't want you to stay the way because your anger will eventually overcome that. Bring it to God and ask him to help you forgive that person. That's something that I think we are missing is that we want to do something with these feelings and we can. We can go to God when it's time to forgive someone. So for example, when your sibling does something that makes you really mad or maybe they borrow something without asking and they do all these things, the best option you can do is to forgive them. You can talk to them and be like, hey, I, you can play with my toys, just ask next time. Communicate and ask God for forgiveness and to forgive them. Because before you know it, you're going to have this attitude change and you're not going to like who you become if you don't forgive. So guys, we're going to mess up too sometimes and do wrong towards other people and we're going to want forgiveness. So I'm going to read you another scripture. Mark eleven twenty five. Mark is in the New Testament. It's right after Matthew. Mark eleven twenty five, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you in your sins. So if we're not forgiving people here, then why, would Jesus, why should God forgive us? So guys, it is so important that we are constantly forgiving others because we need the forgiveness from our Father. Kiddos, I love you. I miss you. 
And I still challenge you to tell others about Jesus like Paul did, but I also challenge you in these weeks to come of quarantine to forgive right there in your household, forgive as you start school soon, and forgive others as you have been forgiven by God. Another reminder, I know we started learning the books of the Bible, and I want to encourage you guys to keep doing that. I think we should we, I don't know where we are right now, but I think you're supposed to be in the fourth set of four in the Old Testament. So you've learned the first 12 by now. So you should be thir- 14 through, no, 13 through 16 or 17, something like that. So really, guys, just try your best to learn those books of the Bibles. Love you guys. Bye.